Hello guys, it's me again, and um, I ain't got nobody to record for me, so and I ain't got a tripod and all that crap, so I'm gonna have to hold the camera so you won't see my face a lot. But I'm gonna do a little explaining. Um, if you ever decide like you want to get into custom bush hogging, which I don't know why I'm telling you this and I ain't got it on here yet, but it is coming soon. I would first thing I would do is I'd get a slip clutch that goes behind here to the PTO chef. Like the slip clutch will be right here and it'll go onto the bush hog and then you just you slide your your shaft from the tractor onto the slip clutch so that way if you hit something instead of it breaking something in the tractor or the bush hog it just slips the clutch if it's adjusted right see this is what happened to me i was wish hogging not too long ago and i hit a tire and i was wish hogging with this 540 shaft and it twisted my shaft and that was pretty bad also, if you have one of these old yonder tractors, make sure that your um, your race is still at the end of your PTO shaft. Because sometimes they fall off. Mine fell off, and when I got my new shaft, I had to order it. So, lesson of the day is put a slip clutch on there. Take the little extra money and hit it, put a slip clutch on there. Because if you hit something, you'll break that. And I looked out because that shaft only costed me $100, and I bought it off eBay. But anyhow, um, it was... What I did to finish the job, if y'all was wondering, um, John Deere, they have a good way. See, luckily, if it was a different tractor, the, the I would have to break his tractor in two and pull the whole shaft out. But with John Deere, I, all I did was, there's a snap ring in here, right? And when you pull that snap ring out, you can pull your thousand shaft out. And I pulled this snap ring down here to this 540 shaft out that broke. And I put my thousand shaft in there, and I put an adapter on it that converted the thousand to 540. And... Uh, I finished the job. Also, when you change your shafts by pulling them snap rings out, you want to park uphill because if you don't, all your oil will leak out the back. So I got the new shaft in there, and like I said, I still need to put me another slip clutch on there, so uh, that don't happen again because it um, it twisted it pretty bad and broke it, which is looks like it's made out of cast iron. So don't let this happen to me. Let this be my lesson to you and. Also, I want to give you an update on the new straight pipe on my John Deere tractor that I put on yesterday. Um, let's hear it run. Man, that sounds good. Look at her now. Oh. So this video was just a descriptive video of, um, I just want to tell you the problem I had and um, just so it don't happen to you. Uh, for more videos, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want, and I'll try to give it to you. Thank you.